I just got this open line R281 router. This is an apparently an LTE advanced 4G modem router. So 4G plus LTE advanced. So let's make some comparisons here. As a baseline, this is my PLDT fiber optics connection here, which is somewhere between six and 700 megabits. And I will be using this PC to test it. So just to show you that this PC is capable of running the speeds. So there will not be any confusion. I will be positioning all the different routers that I'm comparing exactly at the same place. Okay, let's see what our Smart Pro router is delivering. Now I connect it. So it is raining outside, so it might have an influence there. The position of the router might not be perfect. Not extremely advanced speeds. Uploads okay. Uploads not looking bad right now. Pretty good with that. Doing a second run with the Smart Pro here. Just to get an idea where we are at, which ballpark we're in. Okay, now even slower. Yeah, this is not really cutting it, is it, for an LTE advanced router here at this position. Yeah, that's just not very advanced, is it? It's pretty embarrassing as a matter of fact. The second device I want to test here is a TP-Link. MR150 LTE router. This one is just normal LTE, so no carrier aggregation, meaning we only expect normal LTE speeds. And just to make that clear, I'm using the same SIM card in all these different routers. So they all run on the smart network with a smart card here, testing the same network. So first run for the TP-Link 4G router here. Let's see what we get. Remember, the other one should be double as fast because it's a carrier aggregation router. So you can see we're doing here easily the same speeds like before. All right, second round for the TP-Link. Let's see what it can do. And lastly, I proudly present to you the CPE 5G router. So this is a 5G modem in here, but we'll be running it on 4G only. So we get a nice comparison of what the network is capable of here. Again, just to show that this is also in the same position like the other two before. I'm setting this to 4G only, so we are comparing apples to apples. See, we are now at 4G plus. First run of the CPE 5G router on the 4G network. So remember that we are on 4G plus now. And this is what 4G plus actually can do. Second run for the CPE router here on the 4G network. Remember that this router does not even have external antennas. You can see as a baseline on 4G, 150 down, 40 up. If the Smart Pro open line R281 router another go here, the better cleared up a little bit, it's not raining anymore, maybe it will perform better. Let's see what we get. Another speed attempt here for the Smart Pro router. 
Let's see if we can do any carrier aggregation and get some speed out of it. As you can see, we are pretty much at half of what the real carrier aggregation does. In the upload, we get to 30, but we even can do that on the normal LTE router. So, there you have it, the comparison between these three 4G routers. They all were running in 4G mode, so even the CPE router was not running in 5G. So what can we say about the Smart Pro that we really compared to the other tools here? The Smart Pro is supposed to be an LTE advanced router. It did not hold up. It did not get the speeds. In the best case, you get half the speeds that the CPE router got, which means it's not really an LTE advanced router at all, I think. It was more in the ballpark of the normal LTE router, the TP-Link here in the middle, the black one. That one is just a very normal, basic LTE router. It's a good one, of course, it's not one of those cheap ones. And again, so the left model here, the Smart Pro, is the R281. The TP-Link is the MR150. And the one on the very right is the CPE 5GN router, a true 5G router.